Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Robin Rap video. Hopefully you have an absolute banger in store today. Me, Grant Roberts, is taking my boat to a local lake. Me and all my buddies fish not too far away from here, a couple miles down the road. If you know, keep your mouth shut. But we go out there for walleyes all the time in the fall, do pretty decent out there. In the winter, we do pretty good on the walleyes. In the spring and summer, crappie and bass fishing galore. So that's the name of the game today, is early spring ice out bass fishing. I'm gonna give you guys a little rundown of what I'm gonna be hoping to catch fish on. Obviously, as I get out there and see stuff isn't probably gonna be working the way I drew it up, I'm gonna change it up, but I will show you what I'm throwing at the start of the day. So here we got six rods that I'm bringing out today. Usually bringing six to eight rods, depending on what I'm fishing for. But the first lure I'm gonna be throwing is going to be a Vision 110 Mega Bass Jerkbait. By far my favorite jerkbait on the market. Almost always perfectly suspends as long as you got the right hooks and right line on there. Next, I'm gonna be throwing a little peanut butter and jelly crawfish football jig right there, light and finesse. I'm gonna go bold with the next two here. I've been walleye fishing a lot, so I'm gonna keep these on and see if maybe I can run into a walleye. I've heard of smallies out there, but I've never actually seen one. I'm gonna throw a very, very bright, aggressive chartreuse and green hair jig. The next will be an orange and chartreuse blade bait. If you can see under this tackle warehouse cover, a little bit of it. I got a red lipless. And on the very last bait, I will have a red jackhammer chatterbait. Red is always killer in the spring. Got a little bit of red on that guy, more orange than anything, but hopefully that'll be all I need. If not, I got my tackle box out there with a plethora of lures to throw. So stick along, stay tuned, and hopefully we'll grease them. All right, we made it out to the spot, spot number one in a little secluded little bay on the very, very south side of the lake we're fishing. Don't know why I'm choosing this, probably gonna be the coldest water, but it is kinda windy out here, so I like to get tucked away from the wind at least to start, cause it is quite cold. I did underdress, but that'll happen. We'll persevere through it. I am going to start the day with the Mega Bash Jerkbait. See if they want something a little slow, methodical. If not, um, then I'll move to the Red Lipless, which is kinda contradictory to a slow start, but we'll see what's going on. Strap the GoPro on for you guys so you can see all the action. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We are actually going to change from the original jerkbait plan and we're gonna start off with the Red Lipless. Figured that'd make a little more sense. Cover some water, see if they're active. Probably not going to be, but if they are, for the odd chance, they should start smacking this. Got the old SLX DC paired with the G Loomis DCX. Fishing about, wow, that is really impressive. If you guys can see that, 43 and a half degree water temp and the ice came off last night. That is insane, fishing six foot of water. Not too much to see on the bottom right now, but we'll give her a couple casts. If not, we'll start hunting. There we go. That did not take long. I think that was my fourth cast or so. Chewed the old red lipless, barely hooked. Decent sized bass, see if we can get him in the boat without him falling off. There we go. Heck yeah. First bass of the year, ladies and gentlemen, on that red lipless. Working it real aggressive. Ripping and then kind of slowing it down and then ripping again. I am going to put this on my Snapchat story. If you guys aren't following us on Snapchat, we do post a lot of fishing content as well, me and Mr. Rappy. So if you guys want to follow us, my Snapchat is Grant6565 and Mr. Rappy's is the old T-R-A-P-P-S 50. Get a little video release of this guy. And there we go. Let's get back at it. It's a good sign. All right, so gave her about 15, 20, 25 casts with the red lipless. Gave me one fish. I have never really thrown a red chatterbait too much in the spring. Obviously, I do have it for the springtime because that is the best time of year to throw a red color feed in those crawfish. But 
I bought this last year, so I'm gonna give her a try this year. Don't see why it wouldn't work. Vibrates, loud, aggressive, just like that, that lipless I was throwing. So stick along, stay tuned. And I'm throwing this one on a little nicer setup. Got the Corrado DC, can't really see that rubbed off. And then I got the seven foot medium heavy Zodius made by Shimano. Absolutely a butter rod. If you guys are looking to get a really, really nice chatterbait rod, jig rod, I would recommend this Zodius. It's so light, it's got this nice, very sensitive handle here. Just an overall phenomenal rod. Third try. He came back for it three times. Let's go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Third time's the charm, ladies and gentlemen. That was crazy. That thing swung at it three times. Missed it the first time because of the GoPro. Second timer, operator error. Third time, we finally pinned him on that red lipless once again. Look at how red their mouths are. Those are some cold water fish. Another nice, solid pound and a quarter, pound and a half bass. Not bad for very beginning of March. In Wisconsin, they just changed the laws a couple years ago to catch and release year long, which is very nice. Let's get some more. There we go. What is this? Uh huh. One of them units, huh? Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. There are a lot of crappie out here. As you can tell, that one was not looking to eat. He was close enough to it. I might be coming back out here for some crappies because I have been seeing a decent amount on live scope. So I'm going to get this guy unhooked and get him back in the water. That is definitely not a legal catch. So we are not keeping him. But tomorrow, on the other hand, I'll probably come out here with some slip bobbers and some plastics and minnows and see if we can get some of those. That's a fish regardless. I love catching crappies. Not what I was looking for. Felt like a very, very weird hit. Kind of just sat there, which kind of explains why it was in the back. But let's see if we can get some more of those LMBs on that red lipless. All right, so we are back. I just got back from the boat launch. We got Peyton now. Yes, sir. We got another guy in the boat. Got a couple fish on board so far. He's starting off with the chatterbait now, and I'm probably going to resort right back to the red lipless. So yeah. hopefully we can keep greasing them. The sun went away. The wind's kind of died down a little bit, but we're going to see if we can get after it. I also picked up some minnows, and Peyton brought a couple crappie rods out. So we're going to see if we can dirty dangle them since I caught that one on that red lipless earlier. So stick along. Stay tuned for part two of this adventure. Oh, yeah. I said that's the first time he's been shot at in Wisconsin. We shot at him in California. Yeah. Yeah, that shit's catchy. Oh, see, bro? I'm gonna end up cracking this goddamn camera, dude. Yeah, you are. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Got him! <'em. laughs> yep. There we go. Shoot it. There we go, Peyton brought some good luck out here. Give me the line. Get in the boat. There we go. That's like a nice one. I'm here too. Damn near. Now, how do I hold this guy without getting a hook? There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're listening to some CCR and greasing some bass. Still on the red lipless. The sun went away, but they're still chewing this. Peyton's got the old chatterbait out, and we're just kind of drifting around. We got live scope down, but we're not really looking for much unless if we see a school of crappies, but. That ain't a bad bass. Not at all. One of my nicer ones so far. On that red lipless without any eyeballs. See if we can get some more. Huh. I'm gonna go over to that other school that looked like a little bit bigger fish. Oh. You getting hit? Oh, what the f is that? Oh. What? <laughs> is that on the drop shot? <laughs> there we go. Oh, I forgot we were recording for Robin Rap. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Peyton's got himself a little pike on the old red drop shot. Just a real small little snot rocket there. Yes, sir. He wasn't targeting them, and it's not too often you really see pike chew drop shots, but that's the first pike in the boat today, so can't be too mad. I've got a bobber on. I'm going out for some panfish right now, and Peyton's got this little pike. He's going to drop them. He might break his line. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> it is a lot chillier out here than before. Yeah, it is. Let's see you, bud. I smell you. Oh, yeah. There we go, Peyton. Peyton is on. We got 7% left. And he, that is insane. Since when do you start greasing fish, or pike I should say, rephrase that, on a drop shot? Just a real small one again. That's crazy. That's about as much camera time as that guy needs, Peyton. What do you think? Yeah. You get that? Oh, yeah. Let him know, Peyton. Yup, Peyton's got a another freaking pike. <laughs> Dude cannot avoid him. He goes for bass with a drop shot, catches pike. He goes for crappie with a fat head, catches a pike. That's insane. <laughs> you better be careful with that one. Oh, that line is snapping. That line is so snapping. <laughs> <laughs> Grab the fish. Wow, that is impressive. <laughs> that thing's choked too on what probably four pound test. Yep. <laughs> there you go. It's about all the camera time that guy needs as well. This is not what we're targeting anymore. I guess we never were really targeting them. We're going for bass and now crappies, but. <laughs> A little post game interview, Peyton. What are we thinking? No. <laughs> That's all, that's all I got, man. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Peyton, let him know. Yes, sir. There we go, Peyton. Is that another pike? What are we thinking, Peyton? I don't know. Is that a nice crappie? And you got yourself a large mouth bass. <laughs> Peyton just can't seem to catch target species. No, no, no. He's fishing her on a snapped off St. Croix panfish rod. Let's see if he can get her in the boat. Yeah. Testing out that line. <laughs> nice little bass Peyton's got. We're going for crappies, but it's a solid bass. Show him off to the camera for the one time. Yes, sir. Not bad. Beautiful. Nice red lips. Oh, yeah. All right. Maybe we can hopefully get on some crappie soon, not just catch bass and pike. That's the goal. Deuces. All right, good night, Robin Rap. Smell ya. Good night. <laughs> That's the outro. Good night. <laughs>